moment we are currently going through a, an off-season program. Our pre-season starts a week tomorrow right. and unfortunately it starts with um, a day of testing. Because I've been injured, um, I've been trying to find things to do to keep me involved in the games. <laughs> yeah. So I think BBC Alba broadcast a lot of our games in the yeah. league and um, they approached me and asked me if I wanted to do some co-commentating. Uh, so I do. Uh, it's quite enjoyable to go on in the games, especially when it's Hibs and I can make fun of the players a wee bit and <laughs> give them a bit of sticks. So when you play football, um, it, it consumes your life. You, yeah. you, you play, you train, you, you constantly think about it. So mm. I think when you do transition to, to kind of retirement and into um, an environment where you, you've not got that structure, you've not got that rigid commitment, it, it's quite daunting. So From where we both started. Um, probably didn't even know five women players that right. played um, to now where they're household names especially yeah. more so down in England with them winning the Euros I think Scotland's kind of piggybacked their success yeah. um, and we're starting to reap some rewards from that as well with the fact that our now domestic league's going a bit more professional and yeah it's it's fascinating to see how quickly and rapidly it is growing and um, it's exciting to see and the fact that England have now made it mandatory in schools down there for girls to be allowed to play football and things it's, it's huge.